time for another Coffee with Kilroy. Sci-Fi Fantasy Saturday Edition. How about that? I like to call this beverage in a book. I think you've heard that before. And my beverage today, well, got some interesting new coffee. And um, it's different. It's not bad. Different. And uh, the book, well, this might look somewhat familiar, at least the name here, Mike Lambeau. I've covered a few of Mr. Lambeau's uh, game books. Uh, the last one being Lone Sherman and is, is doing quite well. Salt on Vilmy Ridge. Battles of the English Civil War, Hostage Rescue, Battles of the Medieval Britain, Ghost of the Jungle, Beaches for the Brave. Hey, Beaches, what do we got there? Race for Bastogne, Battles of Normandy, The Fields of Normandy, and now The Quest for the Brave. So what is different in this book from all these other game books? Well, these have War Game in the title. This one has fantasy in the title. Hey, it's Sci-Fi Fantasy Saturday. So, Mr. Lambeau has branched out away from war game books or solitaire war game books and now has done a solitaire fantasy game book. Let's look at the look at the back here. Uh, Quest for the Brave is a light dice placement or dice allocation solitaire game which tasks the players with helping six heroes to achieve 12 treacherous and difficult quests. This is an accessible game, which is a quick and easy play, but players will still be challenged by the circumstances of each quest. So expect a tough time out there. Now, I did take a quick peek in here, not much. And um, this reminds me, he did a... Um, I can't remember which one of it is of his games that kind of had some tracks on them. That might have been his, uh, is that his Beaches? Yeah, Beaches for the Brave. That's why this is a, his Brave series. You know, Beaches for the Brave had some of these tracks like this in here, and I think this one has it as well. This is also uh, somewhat reminiscent of a uh, Noah Patterson uh book that I covered. It was a uh, roll for Omaha that had tracks that you're kind of keeping track of. I mean, reminiscent, but not uh, not a takeoff of. This one looks like it might be closer to his uh, Beaches of the Brave. But anyway, let's get inside this. Let's see me get a sip first. Oh, ask me what I'm drinking. Anyway, that's a little bit something different. I just got, um, just got that today. Uh, Quest for the Brave, a solitaire fantasy game, Mike Lambeau. Here's a list of all his other book, which I books, which I I think I have all of them. Uh, and you can watch him play them on YouTube if you search for it or follow him on Facebook. This has an introduction and how the book works, uh, objectives, how to win, the rules, which are the heroes, the quests, game phases. Phase one, the hero phase, examples of hero phase, and then phase two is the enemy phase. You've got setup, you've got the quest, and then there's 12 different quests here. So goblins and spiders, traps and treasures, shrines and dinosaurs, rats and crocodiles, snakes and more snakes, the ice chase, trapped wind, no, that's not, that's not right, traps and wind, uh, goblins and spiders and treasures, the circle and the snakes, Desert Rats and Scorpions, The Lava Chase, and Dragons and Lava. Page 36 there. Here's your introduction. Uh, what you need to... Background of it, how this book works. It says you can lay the book flat, use cubes, miniatures, or similar tokens. You will not need many. Uh, so, you know, you, can, you don't have to mark in the book, or you can keep the... Um, uh, use markers on, you know, some counters or cubes or something on the book, or you can make a photocopy and then mark that up. Or you can mark in this book and try to erase it or, you know, buy a new one. Uh, I'm sure Mr. Lambo wouldn't mind. Um, objectives, how to win, the rules. You have, you have control of six heroes to whom you must allocate actions and attempt to achieve 
the wind condition on each quest. So each quest is going to have its own different wind condition. Here's talks about the quests. Game phase overview. Here's phase one, the hero phase. Hero movement. Arrow shot. Stun. Shrine. Rethink. Here's an example of the hero phase. And then you got the enemy phase. So not a lot there right there. Here's your setup. And place the starting heroes. Then you got the quest. So as you see here, oh, there's the chart. So this is the um, board, game board, or page, if you're familiar with any of the Mike Lambo games. Uh, especially the beaches for the brave you see you know a page like this and you're going to keep track of i guess your six heroes are on these six numbered tracks right there you can see that a little bit better there got a little bit of shine there and you're going to be going up this tracks right here i guess trying to get to this this goblin head here this is goblins and spiders so it's going to tell you a little bit about background of the of the quest the setup uh, the movement, the, what's the, the what's the win uh, condition? Then you got your hero phase where you can rethink movement, arrow shot, and stun. And you got the goblin phase, which is spear chuck and heal. So this is mainly going to be a dice roller type game here. And there's like a life up here, and there's something that you do if you hit a spider space. Then we've got traps and treasures. So it looks like there might be uh, some traps. Here's a swinging axe trap. And it's easy for you to say. Swinging axe trap. Got a river to cross here. This, there's all, these are also trap doors here. So might have a lot of traps to deal with. Shrines and dinosaurs. You know, like a pterodactyl up there. So if you're not familiar with these books, this is your going to be each page, uh, each game or quest is going to have two pages. You're going to have your game board, which you'll mark on or keep cubes on or some kind of keep track of stuff on here, whether you want to mark on it or copy it or put a, uh, a, a clear sheet over it to mark on, however you want to handle that. And then on this page, it gives you the background and the setup and the win conditions and then, of course, your your explanation of your hero phase and your rat phase and the, the, the enemy phase is going to change well both these might change depending on the scenario but definitely the enemy phase will change probably a lot depending upon what the scenario is it's got rats and crocodiles here this is uh snakes and more snakes why did it have to be snakes uh the ice chase it's a little bit interesting so there's a lot of variety in here and the art is you know full color and kind of whimsical maybe it's a uh, you know it's not it's not cartoonish but it's not um it's not serious right uh trapped wind no that's not right traps and wind got a lot of skulls right there uh, goblins and spiders and treasures oh my uh the circle and the snakes oh, this would be an interesting game here or quest uh, desert rats and scorpions a lot of scorpions there um, just found one in my my old office uh, just a just a couple months ago lava chase and, uh, Mauna Loa is uh, flowing right now is that, I think that is that right Mauna Loa yeah I think that's I think that's the it's the big volcano. There's a couple in, uh, at least two in Hawaii. Dragons in lava. More lava. These are lava spaces here. And that's it. There you go. That's the last question. Well, there's a lot to this one. There's a lot. Dragon phase, fire breath, advanced dragons to heal. There's a lot, lot more to the hero phase here. Here you have some of your typical things, but you got rock fall instead of tree fall, like in some of them. Sometimes those change, like here you don't have the fall. So they, or the stun. This is stun, swamp belly. So they kind of change uh, depending upon the scenario. So 
each one of these is definitely unique and has a different track and has different things that you encounter. So there you have it. Uh, continuing on with uh, Mr. Lambo, uh, Quest for the Brave, a solitaire fantasy game. Uh, I know a lot of people are enjoying. Excuse me. Uh, a lot of people are enjoying his, um, you know, his war game books, uh, and you know, getting quite a bit of buzz on that. I wonder what people are going to think about this. Uh, him branching out into the fantasy realm. Uh, and, uh, also going, I mean, most of his other games are, you know, somewhat of a hex encounter game in a book. These are kind of a track and a dice game. And I think that's kind of similar to his Beaches of the Brave. So maybe his four Brave is track base. Maybe, maybe, maybe not. Anyway, that's what I have for you today. Uh, thanks for stopping by on Coffee with Kilroy, especially on a sci-fi fantasy Saturday edition. Um... Let me know your thoughts. Uh, let me know what you think about this or and talk about any of the other Lambo books or talk about these game books or war game books in general. Love to love to hear what you think or what your thoughts are. No wrong answers. Um, just be respectful, whatever that means. Anyway, thanks all and have a good one. Thanks for watching.